So, good morning, good afternoon, good shots, everybody. Parsh is Bo. So this is, uh, I keep saying it every week, but this is really the very important Parsha. <laughs> Each week's important, I guess. Uh, but this is just uh, bananas how important this is for becoming a Jewish nation. Literally, Marcus Bechoros, leaving Mitzrayim. This is literally the, uh, this is where it all, uh, where it all goes down. This is literally it. And I also have first, first mitzvah. First mitzvah given to the Jewish people. Uh, Rosh Chodesh. A lot of people have a problem, you know, a lot of questions. It's so important, you know, obviously there's other mitzvahs that are so important. That should be the first one given to the B'nai Yisrael, Egla Rufa, for example. Um, Bikurim, another example, were important mitzvahs. So why is Rosh Chodesh, which Shema Yisrael, after Hashem Kecha, loving Hashem Torah, Tzedakah, there's more important mitzvah, let's be really honest here, but why is Rosh Chodesh the one that's given the Eretz Mitzrayim? And well, again, okay, it's a mitzvah. Well, it stresses the Eretz Mitzrayim, that not only is it the first mitzvah, but it had to be done in Mitzrayim as the first one. You know, maybe loving all Jews, maybe um, letting, you know, Mitzrayim into the nation, that should be... A mitzvah, what's what's the importance really of, of Rosh Chodesh? A lot of people have a problem with Rosh Chodesh, very difficult, Kiddush Levana. Um, I once uh, saw a guy in Shul, and Shom Lechem, Lechem Shalom, Shom Lechem. So I said, Shom Lechem, I said, Lechem Shalom. And afterwards I said to him, I go, I didn't know who he was. And I said, Shom Lechem, who are you? He says, I only say Shom Lechem three times a month, that's it. And he walked away. So some people have a real problem uh, with with saying hello to people, Shemalechem, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the point why Shemalechem is so hard for people. What what the what's the importance of it? Not really the increased Shalom. What's what's the importance of uh, Kish Levanim? So the Siva Shalom, Shalom talks about this is a very special mitzvah that had to take place in Mitzrayim because this mitzvah it's not just counting the days, counting the months, and knowing when the when the Levana is, when the Molad is, because theoretically, we know when that is now. We don't really need uh, people to go to Shalayim and testify when the moon is to know when the moon is, when the Molad is. We actually have a good idea when our Shodesh is. We know when Pesach is going to be for the next 50 years. You know, 200 years from now, we know exactly when Sukkot is going to be. You look on the fancy internet. So, the purpose of the mitzvah, which according to the Gemara says, Mvarach, in the right time, is like Makabu playing Shechina. Playing Shechina. There's so many other mitzvahs that really have to welcome Hashem. What's the point of Makabu playing Shechina? Only mitzvah we have in the Torah. So, the Sivir Shalom, like we said, talks about that it shows rejuvenation. It shows the schachus of the Jewish people. It shows that no matter what took place in the past month, whether I davened every time on time, what I davened at all, um, what the mitzvahs I did, there's always rejuvenation. And unlike the sun, which is just round all the time, the sun comes up, the sun goes down. If you look at the sun, we can't even look at the sun, but it's round. Uh, so is the moon round, really. But it changes, our perspective changes, depending where the sun is vis-a-vis -vis the moon and the reflection, the moon looks different. Sometimes we see 100%, and as the, as the month goes on, we see less of it until it's gone, and then it comes back again. So the Jewish people, too. Um, there's this rejuvenation, this is of the Jewish people, that no matter what takes place, it's going to come back. And this is something that's special in the moon as opposed to the sun. Um, Fared weather friends, friends, as you know, people call it, the fans of uh, some baseball teams or football teams or something. Eh, they're always fine. When they're not good, no one follows them. Um, so we follow the sun, the Gaim follow the sun, meaning they believe in God when things are going well. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, thank God for this. Thank God for that. Um, unfortunately, Jewish people like that too. So, uh, some people, but most Jewish people, um, we are believers. We believe in Hashem, whether things are going great in the world or whether things are going rough in the world. And whether things are going great, you go to a bris milah and you have a child and everything's great, or... Before your brismila, you have to send your son back into Gaza. So no matter, no matter what situation is, we believe in Hashem, whether the sun, the moon is getting larger as the month goes on, or whether it's getting smaller as it gets smaller as the end of the month. We know that 
we look towards the moon, and that's refined of Hashem. And the point is Beretz Mitzrayim Lamar, because this is the, the point of not to lose hope, not to lose hope. Mitzrayim, which was the people who were, were meant to share Tumah, they had no mitzvot, no Torah, they didn't change their name, they spoke Hebrew, great. Uh, they didn't do any mitzvot. Uh, they really had no schism on their own to get out of Mitzrayim, no bris milah, nothing. Uh, but Hashem saw them. Hashem, saw, Hashem, Hashem walked and saw the Jewish people. Really, they're, they're panemius, which is Ani la Malch, Ani la Saraf. Hashem Ba'atzmo went into Mitzrayim to see the Jewish people. You know, uh, the, the complaint that the Malachim had was, why are we saving these people? Why are you not saving those people? They look exactly the same. They do the same mitzvahs as Mitzrayim. But only Hashem could really see exactly the panemius of a Jewish person, that Jewish people in Mitzrayim didn't do mitzvahs because they were forced, uh, they were under pressure, they didn't have the Torah yet. And so too now, Jewish person, even though maybe they don't look Jewish or act Jewish, that's only the mikra. That's only because maybe they don't know better. But most Jewish people know inside uh, who they are, with the chilak of Hashem inside. And that's kind of really what Rosh Chodesh is, had to be done in Mitzrayim. That even if, no matter how bad a matzav is, um, Hashem, just like they saved Mitzrayim, Hashem could save us 2024, or each month things change in our mazel, Hashem could change the mazel, and that, that's really what takes place. And that's something we have, to, we have to hope for. Um, as we kind of uh, talk about this, um, it's something important to know, Tizka, Yom Tzitzka, Meir Tzitzrayim, Kol Yimei Chayecha, even Balelos, and especially Balelos. We say this every year at the at the Agada. We're not too sure what we're talking about. Balelos is Mashiach. Balelos, and you know, the uh, Sefer Shalom was written before this war took place, um, and we can see it now. Balelos isn't just at night, but you know, Balelos is metaphorically the, the darkest time of the day, obviously, and Bachatzos Alayla is when there's almost there's nothing. Bachatzos Alayla, Max Pachoris takes place. When it's the darkest point of the night, it's far from the night from the light from the day before. It's far from the coming of light. Literally, the most darkest time, and that's exactly when um, we're supposed to remember Hashem. Uh, every mitzvah, or many of the mitzvahs, are tied to Tzias Mitzrayim. Tzias Mitzrayim. Every part of many mitzvahs is during the day. Nothing at night. You know, we think about a mitzvah during the day. It's not by night. Tefillin is by day. You know, you think about uh, menorah, it's evening time. You think about Meg- Megillah, it's day. So most mitzvahs, Pe- Purim, Pesach, it's day. See us Mitzrayim, Remember Mitzrayim, is at night because that's the darkest time. And to remember that just like Mitzrayim was the darkest time, we have the mitzvah of Kirsha Chodesh. So to remembering see us Mitzrayim, even Balelos, to remember even now in the darkest, our darkest tekufa, uh, recent memory is right now. We should always remember it's Yisrael Shrine. Hashem will take us out. And so too, we have to have a Muna. Unlike some people that are fair weathered for bands that only think about God when things are going well, they think God when things are going well. We don't, we don't believe that. We actually believe that even the darkest time Hashem leads us and that we'll see, just like we see a Shadrach of the moon, each month it goes darker, it will be the, sh- the strongest point. So too, we hope that Hashem will take us out of this dark point and bring us into the days of 100% light. Shabbat shalom.